Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is March the 15th, 2022. We're going to talk about course air today, and I'm going to show you why this stock is now a sell. Something happened over the last couple of days that still confirms that this massive downtrend that is in course air that is going to continue. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of people telling you all to come in and buy the dips. I understand. But they did not tell you that the market of course air is in a downtrend. I'm here to give you all the real. To show you what the price is actually trying to tell us so that we can at least scave away from the weakness if we're looking for the price to go up we should not be participating when the price is going down we need to wait and be patient and keep our money to ourselves until the market becomes a buy well this hasn't happened yet into the market of course there and i'm going to show you all that today so welcome to the channel this is what i do i do the price predictions without the confusion everyone else out everyone out excuse me everyone else out here on these youtube streets is trying to have you all confused and focus in on other things that does not matter the only thing that matters is the price period so i want to show you all today what i'm looking forward to into the market for course air and why i'm still anticipating this stock to go down now hit the like button instead of being also subscribe here to the channel to ensure you all are updated as to whenever I do my price predictions. Yes. The 26th of January was the last time I've done a video price prediction for Corsair. You all can see it. I'm being fully transparent. I'm here to show you what goes right and what goes wrong. I predicted that Corsair was going to go up. So look what happened. The market price in Corsair has done just that. Now, you can see it. I wasn't massively bullish. I wasn't trying to give you all some outlandish price target that I knew that market wasn't going to reach. No. Instead, I had a price target of around $22. That was 13 and a quarter percent. Yes, you guys can tell. Course Air went up to $23.50, $24. Cool. But we get the bag. We make sure we get the profitability out of the market. Imagine if I would have came through and said that the price was going to come up there to 26 yeah the market feels short though so we was in position we had the edge into the market right here on the 26th of january to see the price go up this is the edge this is the competitive advantage that we have amongst everybody else who participates in the stock market we are predictors we are forecasters on price chart this is what we do this is how you're able to win look at that 13 and a quarter percent right there all right so now let me talk about the reasons as to why okay corsair is still a sell that was just a small run-up that's all it gave the market opportunity to sell and how do i know that if you've been a supporter of mine on this channel for the longest every time that you come in and look at a market every time you come in and look at a price chart what is one of the first things that you need to do yes look at the volume take a look at this take a look at this it's fascinating as to how people don't understand how to read charts fascinating look at this on these two days right look at this look at all that volume that came through let me zoom in because we got to pay attention to the volume volume is the lifeblood of the market without volume nobody is participating None of the big hedge funds, none of the banking institution, none of the uh, prop retail establishments, they're not here. But when you see this volume, like what we saw here on the 16th and on the 17th of February, they came in and played. They're showing you their hand. And is it a coincidence that all of this volume came in as the market in Corsair was trading at a high of around $24? Right. We saw this run up right here ending of january price started to go up then bam all of this volume came in what do you think it means did they buy did they sell those are the only two actions that we can ever get in the market buying and selling and i can tell you that that was selling these two days was massive selling going on in corsair and it kind of resembles that whoever did that they wanted to clean their books they wanted to take the profitability because they know that Corsair is going to make 
lower lows. It's going to continue to go down. This is how you're able to know that this is still a sell. They're giving you their ex anticipations. All right. And how do I know that the market mostly was selling on those two days? It's because look at that. The price fell off a cliff. If this was actually buying coming through the market in Corsair these two days, the market wouldn't have fallen off a cliff today. But it did. So whoever that was that came in on these two days, I could care less who it is. They told us that, look, it's time for me to jump ship. And they jumped, oddly enough, at a very good time. Because look at the price now, it's at $17 and 79 cents. So I'm still looking weak into the market. Like Corsair is still weak. And it looked like it may even come all the way down towards that all time low area, $14. Yes, I'm just here to show it to you. I'm just here to give you the information, basically what we're seeing on the chart. If anyone else is trying to tell you that this is a bullish chart, if anyone else tries to tell you that the earnings release for Corsair was positive and they're trying to figure out why price is going down, they haven't seen a price chart. Corsair is a weak market. So look at this. The price in Corsair hasn't traded around this area. Look at this. Since like 2020. Yeah, less than two years. And here we are again today. So whoever bought Corsair on this NASDAQ exchange, they might want to just let this go for real because this market is still anticipated to do. Yeah, go lower. Now, let me show you this. Okay, look at this. This area right here confirms the weakness, $24, okay? So I'm going to continue to show you that this is where price got rejected. <laughs> right here. These two two weekly price bars confirms the weakness. Okay, it confirms the weakness. This is why we're still anticipating the price to go down, of course, there. Now, how low? Look at this on the three weeks. See that? This market is real weak. And we're going to maintain the weakness until we see course air break back up above this level right here. Okay. So let me clean this up because I don't want us to confuse. I don't want to confuse everybody. Now, I got it. As long as price in Corsair trades below twenty dollars, we're going to play the weekends into the market. It's just that simple. Look at this on a weekly. OK, so we got some weakness to contend with. We still need to look forward to the price in Corsair to go down. Still have to. OK, actually, I'm going to bring this up just a little bit higher. To like 22. All right. So how low do you think the price is going to go? We don't have that much history that we can actually try to pinpoint the buyers. We don't. So could we see it? come here to all-time lows and test all-time lows yeah we could see that that's doable but the buyers are going to try to approach the market soon though okay so i want to see if we can actually pinpoint where the buyers are at so i will say the next the first price target will be around 16 okay so we're going to do the first price target in the market in course air around 16 dollars that will give us 10 and a quarter percent Okay, 16. We need to look for the market in course here to go to $16 first. If the buyers do show up at 16, then cut the play. All right, take the 10 and a quarter percent and move on to the next opportunity. Next level is going to be around 14. All right, and that's it. I'm done. Your turn.
I want you all to let me know where do you suspect the market and Corsair to go over the next couple of months? Let's do rest of March going into April. Where do you think the price is headed? I've given you all my anticipations. I've given you two price targets. First one is 16. The second one is 14. Buyers show up at around 16. Cut the play. It's that simple. If they don't show up around 16, you know the market is still weak and it's going to try to come down to these all time low areas. All right. So let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.